Greetings, blurbs. And this right here is a guy climbing a mountain. Hmm. That just happens to be the artwork, or the photo, that's on the side of this color monitor box. Model 555. A 15-inch monitor of some kind. I don't exactly know. It's by Pixie, though. I'd never heard of that. This is just one of those things that I found on eBay for a relatively low price, and it is a new old stock, still in the box, 15-inch CRT. So, you know what? If it looks even close to that, that's cool. But I don't know. Uh, either way, CRTs are always useful, especially if they are new. Um, apparently this was sold in 1999 at kind of a budget price. I, I don't know the exact price or anything, really. Somebody apparently bought it and, and took the UPC off, probably for a rebate. Don't know if it was ever used. The seller said that it had just uh, been opened up to verify that it was in there. <laughs> but who knows what that means? You just never know with these things. I mean, it might not even be the right monitor, and this was just the box that the seller sent it in or found it in, or who knows? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That's why we're going to do uh, an unboxing here, just to see what's inside. Hopefully, it's a cool little CRT. I actually don't have too many 15 inches. Most of mine are like 17 or 13. Yeah, 15 is, you know, what I had back in the late 90s. So, pretty popular size, but for whatever reason, I just don't run across too many of them or... I don't know. Whatever, here it is. It's got some decent specs. Nee, I'm not expecting anything particularly great. I don't even know who makes the tube or what kind of tube it is. 1024 by 768 for sharp graphics. Mm -hmm. 0.28 millimeter dot pitch, which is all right. Uh, reduces eye strain, flicker free. That normally just means it supports like 75 hertz, maybe 80, maybe 85 if we're lucky. We'll see. Uh, digital controls. Yeah, whatever, man. Let's just open this thing up here. Uh, actually, no, th this is kind of interesting. So it was shipped from Nippon Express in New Jersey. <laughs> and then shipped to Sears, Roebuck & Co. in Florida, Jacksonville, Florida. So I don't know if this was uh, like Sears's thing. Maybe Sears was going to sell it. Maybe it was from a business. I don't, I got no information. Whatever. I'm gonna open it up. Let me get a box cutter. Okay. So yeah, this should be interesting. Just because I don't know anything about it, you know? <laughs> we'll see if it is actually new old stock or just sort of an open box, relatively unused or lightly used. Doesn't matter to me as long as it works. And, uh, yeah, looks half presentable, then maybe it's something I can use in different videos for any time I need a 15-inch CRT. Okay, we got some graphics. Ooh, let's see here. Ah. So just some line art illustrations showing how to plug it in. <laughs> you plug it in, you put the base on, and some unboxing instructions. <laughs> Looks pretty new old stock to me. Okay. Yeah, this looks new. Dang. Yeah, the tape is still nice and old. It's always a good sign. When the tape is yellowing, that means it's been there. Okay. Let's get this out of here. All right. Well, that's promising. There's a manual up here, too. Neat. And a power cord, nice beige variety. Those are getting harder to find too, I'm finding. Like a proper beige one, a lot of them like white and gray, but, or black of course, but beige. Yeah. Okay, so the VGA cable is permanently attached. I always wonder about that when I'm getting certain monitors. Sometimes it's detachable, sometimes not. Yeah. And this one is uh, one of those with not all 15 pins, which is perfectly fine. You don't need all of them. In fact, this is actually preferable for connecting to certain older computers or IBM PS2s. There, There's reasons for this. <laughs> mm. Oh man, this thing smells new. Oh, that's a good smell. 
I'd give that a, a seven out of 10 in terms of smell. It's a plasticky kind of thing, a little bit of, you know, rubbery degradation going on from here, I'm thinking, but not much. Honestly, it smells really good. Nice and fresh, new electronics type of smell. And you know what? This is the right monitor. It's the one that's on the box anyway, so <laughs> awesome. I'm, I'm always happy to see that. I have bought plenty of monitors in the box and there you get them and it's just like, oh, it's some like black Dell monitor instead of a beige, whatever you were expecting. Anyway, here is the manual. It says multi-scan. Interesting. I wonder if this supports any kind of uh, different horizontal refresh. I doubt it. But, yeah. Could just mean multi-scan in terms of like, it goes above 60 Hertz. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so there we go. It's just your standard monitor. So between 30 kilohertz and 54 kilohertz, that, that is literally just your standard thing. Still, it's, an, it's a generic looking beige monitor and that's actually exactly what I was hoping it would be because uh, you know, sometimes I just want to show something in terms of a game or a piece of software on a PC and I don't want uh, distracting branding or stickers or anything like that on here. It's just sort of generic and I like that. <laughs> well, I'm hoping it works, you know, okay. Yeah, there's all of our, uh, so horizontal refresh, definitely 30 kilohertz. Vertical up to 120 vertical really now that is a little higher than I thought it would go Huh I mean it doesn't look like it goes above 85 85 was my guess So that's the listing there it's saying that it will do yeah, 85 is typically as high as you can go on these cheaper ones like this at 800 by 600 1024 by 768 is maxing it at 60 Hertz but this says it can go up to 120 vertical. I, I just don't know. Yeah, let's get the base on here and then we'll plug it into a computer. Mm -hmm. Standard sliding base here. Let's see which is front and back. That would be the front. Mm, it's one of those with a little button under here. There it is. Yeah, so the button, you press it to get this off of there, but it also sort of clicks it, holds it in place. So, good stuff. <laughs> Look at that. That's a cute little monitor, and I do mean little. It's not a big, I mean, you know, 15 inches, which means you probably have like 13.8 viewable or maybe 14 something. I don't know. Not a lot but it's better than 13. Yeah, 13.8. Yeah, that's what it is, 13.8 viewable. So standard all around the board. Again, kind of exactly what I was looking for. Just a generic Dagon monitor. Cool. Got some digital controls, so no analog wheels. Well, there's some analog right here. So you got some wheels there, but it's not wheels for everything. And then around back, RIC appears to be a company manufactured in January, 1999. Neat. Cool. Oh, let's get this plugged into a computer, turn it on and see how it works. Okay. I've got it plugged into the uh, LGR XP build over here because I wanted to test out some different modes in terms of the refresh just to see what it can actually do. I'll uh, get a little more leeway with the graphics setup on here. And something else I just noticed, the power, uh, there's no power button up here. There's a little power LED there, but nothing on the front, the sides. <laughs> it's like, how do you power this thing on? Well, there's a little switch around back, a little rocker switch. And uh, yeah, there's the power from the late 90s. That's kind of odd in my experience. Okay, so let's turn this on. See what kind of display we get. Oh, a very bright one. Yes, indeed. As I would expect, considering it's supposedly never been used. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's... <laughs> wow, yeah, we got a lot of leeway there. That is a nice tube. I mean, you know, considering the not-so-great specs. <laughs> but, like, in terms of brightness and color, oh, yeah. That's vibrant. Let's see what kind of refresh it's got here. I think I had it set to 75 hertz. Yeah, I had it set to 75 hertz, so I'm assuming 85 would be just fine, because it... Yeah, it said it would be, of course. <laughs> Positioning's a little different here. No, don't keep those. What I do want to check, though, is the 120, because one spot the manual said it couldn't do it, and the other spot didn't. I have my doubts, considering this is what it is. Oh, dear. Uh, so I'm going to say that's not supported. Look at that light show going on. <laughs> Yeah, that would be really weird if this supported 120 hertz. You usually only get that on much nicer CRTs. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to say 85 is the maximum. There we go. Brought it right back to... Let's just leave it at 75. I forget what it said the maximum it could do was, but... I'm not going to push it. Well, maybe 800 by 600 just to see what that looks like. I mean, you know, still clear. It'll just need some uh, reconfiguring. Oh, that's weird. So as I'm scrolling through it, you get like the first row and then this other light lights up and you get a, another row. So I'm assuming that's D Gauss. It's got a little magnet. Yep. Neat. <laughs> All right, whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put that back down to 640 by 480 because this is such a small screen that that's about optimal in my experience. Much higher than that. Even 800 by 600. Yeah, it's okay, but... Yeah, things start getting small and kind of soft. Oh yeah, man, that is a nice screen in terms of the vibrancy. I'm very happy with that. It's, uh, you know, not the sharpest, that's for sure. But it's pretty good for the size. All right, to test it out a little bit more here, I'm gonna play some GTA 3, because I have recently had the urge to play it. It's been years since I, uh, yeah, I've even set foot in this version of Liberty City. Good old intro. Oh man, this game when it came out 2001, fantastic. Uh, playing it at a friend's house and probably a monitor not too larger than this, maybe about the same size actually. On like an HP pavilion. <laughs> um, but yeah, I recently picked this up or really imported it from Germany. It took months to arrive because everything's being all delayed recently in terms of international shipping. But it's got three Vice City and San Andreas and a nice big box like this. Really, just inside is a, you know, DVD case with the DVDs and such. But, uh, you know, it's got GTA 3 and CDs. Still needs the play CD in order to play this, so I guess that's why they couldn't put it on a DVD, but... Yeah, it's good. 640 by 480 by 32. Anyway, yeah, the trilogy version, or this, this trilogy that we got here in the U.S., only came in a DVD case. Like a thicker style DVD case, so I was wanting the box to put on the shelf. And, you know, I just want to play GTA 3 again, so here we are. I'll just load up my save game from the other day. Looks like the refresh rate has changed again. What did it change to? Because there's like a rolling thing here. Ah. Went down to 60. All right. Oh, there we go. GTA 3. Still very fond of this game. <laughs> Even uh, as simple as it is compared to the later ones in the series. I, you know, I always forget, too, that, like, there's no mouse or, or, or viewing, changing the view, rotating or whatever. You have to, like, press left, right, or hold them down to look behind. Like, it's so clump clumbersome, clunky cumbersome <laughs> compared to some of the later GDAs and uh, you just forget some of those little details. At least I do. Even compared to like Vice City, San Andreas, but especially four and five, you know, they've changed so much over the years, but this classic original GTA three look and feel, there's something still special about it. Got the different cameras, cinematic camera, top down. GTA 1 and 2 style. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. 
And there's like, there's a way, there's a certain feel in the sound effects. <laughs> it's so cartoony and over the top. The way pedestrians splat in this one. Oh, it's oddly satisfying. <laughs> Such gross sound effects. I love it. Oh, <laughs> helicopters already. I guess I have killed like 40 people. Hmm. Oh dear. Well, you know. <laughs> oh, get out. Okay. Ah. I don't even think I have any weapons. I do have a baseball bat. There we go. Oh my goodness. Well, that didn't take long to die. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I haven't died on this save game yet. It's gonna make me... Uh, anyway, well, the monitor works. Uh, it looks pretty great. You know, all things considered, it's, it's small and it's not terribly sharp, but I mean, the tube is bright and healthy and that's awesome. Yeah, man. I'm satisfied with it. That's a pretty nice little pickup. I think this will be a great little thing to hook up to various computers or just whatever, any kind of situation where I need to show something that, you know, I don't need a distracting monitor, just kind of an older looking simple monitor. It is kind of a flatter tube as well, which is nice um, for, uh, for recording. You know, it's not super glossy, and it's not super rounded either, so hopefully I'm not getting too much of like a moiré pattern or anything like that going on. That's always nice for recording, you know. Okay. Just give me one of your guns. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I love this game. <laughs> it's so silly. Oh my goodness. At the time, man, just completely mind boggling. I'd never seen anything even close to this. Oh. Instant car explosions every time they turn over. It's just how it is. Did I get a shotgun? I did. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, you know, that's how that goes. <laughs> well, anyway, um, <clears throat> I guess I don't have anything more to say. Now I'm just going to be farting around playing this for hours. So, Well, thanks for watching. Uh, just just unboxing a monitor, a really basic monitor. But hey, new old stock or close to it, CRTs. It's becoming a, a rarer experience all the time. I'm getting really good at flipping cars over right now, aren't I? There we go. Oh, you see that? Like a five, six shots went straight through his head. <laughs> oh dear. You made me run that guy over. I did not do that. Oh, oh, oh. Ouch. <laughs> These absurd floaty physics. Whatever, I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, generic pixie monitor. Thanks for watching.